Peggy 12. This is for my fellow hunters! Happy New Year, everyone! I'm Ryozo Tsujimoto, producer on the Monster Hunter series. Today, I'll be telling you a bit more about the upcoming Monster Hunter Rise. Hope you enjoy the show! We have a new trailer for you today, so have a look. Hope you enjoyed this new trailer. Now let's go into a bit more detail about the things we just showed off. Take it away. Let's start with the locales. We just showed off the Frost Islands. This used to be a nest of huge dragons a long time ago, and it is said many heroes came here to try and slay them to no avail. It has kind of a creepy atmosphere. There's a large variety of endemic life in each locale. They can help you out in various ways, so make sure to use them on your hunts.
Let's have a look at the monsters that live here. This is Gos Harag, one of the new monsters. Gos Harag is a creature that lives in icy regions, roaming the snowy fields for prey. It's a fang beast that attacks hunters using blades of ice that it creates with its own breath. Next up is the flying wyvern, Berioth. It is a fearsome monster with huge fangs and sharp spikes. The spikes on its front paws and tail are actually scales that it uses to freely move around on icy surfaces. Next is a flying wyvern, Kezu. This is a creepy monster that mainly lives in dark places like caves. Be careful of the electricity it releases from its body and its long, twisty neck. Now let's look at the bird wyvern, Great Baggy. It is characterized by its blue-white skin color and the large protruding crest on its head. It catches prey by dousing them with a fluid that knocks them unconscious, so you'll need to protect yourself against the sleep status effect. Next up is the fanged beast, Legombi. It uses its belly to glide around the snow like a sled, so you'll need to be quick on your toes to deal with it. And now we move on to the flying wyvern, Tigrex. This is an extremely aggressive monster that uses its well-developed limbs to rush at its prey, dealing heavy damage with its claws and jaw. Let's look at some monsters from other locales. First up is the Leviathan, Mizutsune, a very uniquely evolved creature. It secretes a special fluid that it can turn into bubbles by rubbing it against its body hair. These bubbles will greatly hinder your movement. And here's the flagship monster of this game, Magna Malo. Magna Malo's body is enveloped by a carapace hard as armor, and it attacks hunters with its tail and a type of gas that looks like hellfire.
Once you've met the unlock requirements, you'll be able to use your wirebug to bind monsters to use a feature called Wyvern Riding. This lets you use Iron Silk to control wild monsters. You can even use this to make a monster attack other monsters. Now let's have a look at your base where you'll get to meet a bunch of colorful characters who will help make your hunting life a lot more interesting. This is Fugen, the village elder. He is deeply trusted and respected by the villagers, and he's a certified long sword wielder as well. These are the Village Quest and Hub Quest Maidens, Hinoa and Minoto. They are Wyvarian twins, beloved throughout the village. Their songs bring peace to the villagers' hearts, and Minoto has even taken up painting recently. This is Yomogi, a cheerful young girl who runs the local tea shop. This is Guildmaster Hojo, the oldest man in the village and manager of all things quest related. He draws all of the quest notices that go up on the quest board. This is Master Utsushi, leader of the hunters in the village. And this is Iori, the buddy handler. He is a kind and pure-hearted young boy who loves animals. This is feline chief Kogorashi. He's in charge of deploying the Meowcenaries. And this is Ron Dean, the trader. She came on a ship from a faraway country to make trade with the village. Your base contains some facilities to make your hunting life more interesting. This is the training area where you can try out weapon actions by attacking a variety of objects. You can even change the behavior of some of these objects. With the help of all the villagers, you'll have to take on the Rampage. We'll have more to share on the Rampage in the future. Let's do a quick recap of the product information for Monster Hunter Rise. The release date is March 26, 2021. There will be a standard edition and a deluxe edition that contains a set of recommended DLC. Supply is limited, but there will be some exclusive bonuses like layered armor for your Palamute and Palico, and a novice talisman that'll help out during the early stages of the game. Make sure to pre-order so you don't miss out. We will also release three Amiibo on the same day as the game. I'm gonna hand the mic back to the dev team because they're anxious to tell you about the demo. Hope you enjoyed that bevy of new information. I'd like to talk about the demo now and with me here is Yasunori Ichinose, the director of the game. Hello everyone, I'm Yasunori Ichinose, the director on Monster Hunter Rise. It's nice to be here. This demo has four quest types available. A beginner quest, an intermediate quest, a basic training quest, and a wyvern riding training quest, which will help you get used to the new wyvern riding feature. Of course, all 14 weapon types are playable. The beginner quest and the intermediate quest can of course be played solo, but they are also available in local co-op and online co-op. 
For this demo, you'll get to explore the shrine ruins. This is a great locale for learning about the Wirebug and the new stat-boosting endemic life featured in this game. The beginner quest features Great Izuchi, while the intermediate quest has you take on Mizutsune, which we revealed today. Of course, you'll be able to take a Palamute and or Palico with you so you can experience riding a canine and receiving various kinds of support from your buddies. The basic training quest will teach you how to use the Wirebug. And the Wyvern Riding Training Quest will let you try out the new Wyvern Riding feature. Wyvern Riding is a new system that allows you to control monsters for a while. By dealing enough damage through aerial attacks or silkbind attacks using the Wirebug. Or by using Turf Wars or Endemic Life to your advantage. While controlling wild monsters, you can move around and attack, and you can even slam them into walls. So this is definitely something you'll want to check out. That's all for the demo. The demo will be released on the date shown on screen. It will only be available for a limited time, so we hope you download it and give it a try. After this show, we will release some new videos that'll teach you about the Wirebug and Wyvern Riding. Check those out if you want to see these new features in action. Thank you for joining us today. We will have more to share with you on Monster Hunter Rise in the future. So stay tuned. Buddy needs to meet.